<laughs> oh, fun. Just fun. Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to do something, um, a little proof of concept. So still kind of taking a break from um, examining different dice sets and uh, kind of throws and whatnot. But what I do want to do is... Uh, been watching a few videos of uh, the master, the great and mighty bone thrower, and what I have noticed is that there, there's, there, you know, he was talking about betting techniques and different kinds of betting styles in this video uh, that I was watching, and it really kind of got me thinking. You know, we're not. I, I don't want to investigate is this style better than that style, or. Uh, you know, I don't want to compare styles today, but what I do want to do is put through a test as far as how to bet with random shooters on the table. We'll see the day, the people that get up and juggle the dice and launch them down, and it makes my blood boil. I don't know about you guys. How, how do you feel? I can tell you that it ticks me off highly when I see that happen. It's just, you know, I just know that, okay, this person's going to suck. Uh, don't put out a whole bunch of money because it's just going to go away. Um, I'm very cautious when, when I see a shooter step up and do that. But here's what we should, here's, here's what I got thinking about in that. How should we play a good style when those kinds of shooters come up? Um, we have a lower SOR, and that instead of giving, like, if it's you or I getting up to shoot, I'm going to give myself a, a five, six, maybe seven SOR ratio. So after I hit seven place bet numbers, pull my bets down or turn them off. That's just good. That, that goes without saying. That's a careful way to bet. But what I want to know, what about a random shooter? You get up, you have some guy that has no idea what he's doing. He's just starting and good for you for just starting. That's okay. But what I'm saying though is the people that disrespectfully just grab the dice and throw them down there. What if we were to have a ridiculously low SOR? Let me start out with $200. We have a ridiculous low SOR, say, three a three max sor and then we turn our bets off and pick up our uh place bet odds what if we were to have that and just kind of go through the motions uh after uh 15 minutes let's say what would we have um would we be up or down just kind of a proof of concept so if you guys want to play this little game with me see what it turns out turns out being um stick around give it a shot Give us a give us a, a view here. Um, I just want to say real quick, thank you to everybody who has watched the videos and has commented on the videos. I cannot thank you enough. I love each and every one of you guys. You all are awesome. So without further ado, let's do a little proof of concept. Um, a three shot SOR today. Uh, after three shots, we turn them off and uh, let's just see what happens. Um, okay, well, let's do this. Okay guys, so here we go. Uh, nothing special, just wanna kinda of run through some stuff. Let's see, what, let's see what we find out here. I'm gonna use the red dice today just because I think it's easier for you guys to see. And plus those purple ones are still so freaking sharp, I swear to God I cut myself on them. So anyway, um, so here we go. I have uh, 200 bucks right here laid out. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to consider myself in this test. Let's see what time is it. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to give ourselves uh, 20 minutes. See how we're done. I don't want to make this too long. Um, I'm going to consider myself not shooting at all in this. Uh, oh, six and a five. I'll take it. Put those up here. Um, three shot SOR. And that's, now notice I'm going to hold the dice. I'm actually, I'm going to be one of those people. I'm going to do nothing but just jiggle and sling them. Um, I, like the bone thrower said, 90, 99% of the people that walk up to a craps table um, just kind of are completely random. Doesn't mean they suck, and it doesn't mean they go on. They don't go on great rolls. It just means that they're completely random. Um, so let's. That's what we're testing today. 
nothing about the throw style at all. So that's going to be a 325. 325 is the point. Let me verify that you guys can see that okay. Yeah. So, and that's what really got me thinking. Every time, $10 tail, I'm going to bet a uh, minimum bet across. Gosh. Um, seeing a lot. Um, I, it's, it's true. I'm sure you guys have been there too. It's, you go, and the people shooting dice, it's just, it's totally random. How should you bet on that? Oh, so, let's try. So that, that was one. Going up to three. Five. Hit the point. Wow. It's a four, one, five. One to one in front. Three to two in the back. Okay, I'm going to start this over, but we're not going to get carried away. Totally random, does it come out seven? I never, ever, 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 ever turn my bets on on a random shooter. Um, now, I know the bone thrower will do it, or at least on his, but uh, he's a lot better than I am, that's for sure. Oh, shit balls. Okay, that is an eight. Of stuck in my hand a little bit longer. I'm not going for throw style, guys. I'm not going for landing zone. I'm doing this as a complete random shooter, somebody that has no idea what an, a landing zone is, or even really how to set your dice. Um, even if they do, sometimes those people end up being quite random too, myself included. Uh, five, so five's a point. Set the laws back in. One. Hear the dice? Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Five, six, yo. And here's the contention. Uh, in my previous videos, when I do this kind of betting style, I don't count those. We should. We absolutely should count those. Uh, it's different when you're the one rolling it, but when it's the random people rolling it, you want to count them. Two. Random, random, random. Eight. Easy eight. It's a 628. I'm not going to press right now. I'm just going to take it. 14. 14. That's three. What we're going to do? Turn our bets off and pull up our odds. The only thing we have at risk right now is that $10 pass line. And I don't know about you guys, that makes me feel pretty stinking comfortable. That's a 9639. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Five, four, one, five. That's a front line five. Now, I've given this a lot of thought too. And here's my thought process on this. Now that point is done, we're coming out for a whole new set, a whole new roll, a whole new game. How should you play this? Well, here's my thought on that. Now, this shooter has been rolling for quite some time, so you don't want to put a big investment on another, you know, possibly unreachable SOR. So, I say we either go back down, instead of a three, let's, let's shorten it even more, maybe a one, maybe a two. But just for these purposes, after a point is hit, I, go, I do a one-shot SOR. Very conservative, but that's my money out there. I want to make sure it's okay. Five, we're going back up on that five. So I'm going to give it one roll. So my my numbers are on. Put some pass odds out there, and hope and pray to God that he doesn't roll a seven, he or she. And nine. Six, three, nine. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this, so that's going to pay, I'll drop a button and get 15. What I'll go ahead and do is press up the nine. Oh, 15. Drop it. 
drop the bug, get 15. Press up to 9. Um, so that's one. I'll go ahead and turn it off. Um, I have seen uh, at the casino, there are random rolls out there. And they, they can roll, and there's a 7 out. Ah, I forgot to pick up my odds. Yes, sweetheart, just a minute. So uh, they can go on, these random shooters can go on some pretty serious rolls that seem to last forever. And that's cool, that's great. But how many times have you actually seen a random roller last forever? Uh, I, I bet you've never seen him go over six, seven, eight rolls, maybe even five. Um, it's just hit or miss. So, new shooter, uh, six and five. New game. Okay, there's a five. So we'll give ourselves, that was one, so two more rolls. How long has it been? Okay, a few more minutes. And seven out. You know that happens. I know I have gone up to a table and I do point, seven out. As a matter of fact, that happened a lot the other weekend that I went. A lot, not to me specifically, but to the table. Oh, sixes, look at that. Okay. And six easy is going to be the point. Again, we're going to go across. Uh, start out with the minimum. Single on the back. Okay. That was one. Ten easy. I'll drop two and get twenty. Random, random, random. Six, two, eight. Out of ones. Fourteen. Okay, I need one more. Six, five, yo. Okay. The key, guys, and I'm sure it goes off this time. I'm sure you guys know this also. If you have a plan, stick to your plan. This random shooter could end up shooting for the next 45 minutes and not hit that point. And you could be uh, tempted to, uh, oh, that was two, by the way. You could be tempted to Turn everything back on, and six, frontline winner. Or to leave your odds out here. You know, and that's completely up to you. Whatever you're comfortable with. I mean, it was only ten more dollars in the bag. So, uh, so it's whatever you feel comfortable with. I personally, that's a four hard. I like my money, and I like my money in my pocket. And if I get a chance to save every little bit that I can, or protect every little bit that I can, I'm going to do it. Okay. Now, that's his, uh, I'll do uh, one. Five. Four, one, five. So that will pay 14. Dollar for fifteen. Not with a four.
three, two, five. Oh, 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 I totally meant to turn that off last hand. I'm not going to pay myself for it. Five, three, eight. Six, five, yo. Six, three, nine. And this is where it gets so tempting. You want to turn those numbers back on. You really do. But don't. Two, one, three. Four two six, but you know it's better. Oh, six one seven. So yeah, we could have won a few more hands, but instead of losing this, we lose just the pass. Okay, let's do one more. Four, three, seven, come out seven. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Six, three, nine. Move to the four. Put those odds. Okay, that was one. Four, one, five. I'll take it. So, I mean, is three, a three shot SOR for a random shooter, is that too conservative? Would you go longer? Would you go more? What would you guys do? I think that it's, you, you kind of have to play tight when you have no idea what's getting ready to happen with that shooter. So that's a two, three, one. <laughs> a one, two, three. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get a little bit greedy here. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, three, five, eight. Now I'm done. So that'll pay 14. I'll drop a buck. Get 15. And what I would say now, I'd say, uh, you know, just for the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and pull everything down. But what I would do is play this out until I either, take up my odds, um, win or lose. So let's just say that the random shooter did not make the nine, okay? I'll just play it safe, and that 10 goes back. So what I would say, I, I would have turned those off, so these are going to be safe. I'd ask them to pull me down. Let's go get a beer and think about it. So what do we got? So it has been, I don't know, pretty close to 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, 100, 200, 50, five, so 258, so 20 minutes, we've gone up 58 bucks. Um, now, so that's $116 an hour, give or take. So, you know, could be more, could be less, but that's not too bad. That's, I mean, not too bad. I think that by you going into a casino and playing the table carefully, slowly, treat games, don't look for the 30, 20, even 10 shot rolls. Make money off of three rolls. If they hit their point, go back down to one roll. Um, but you know, it, it can, and it happened to me, it can happen any time that, that one roll could be a seven. Um, so it's a good practice also, after a point is hit, or if you get that funny feeling, 
pull your bets down to at least minimum. Instead of uh, you know pressing and pressing and pressing, that's a great way to build up a big stack on there, is to press all the time and then turn them off. Press more, turn them off. But that also puts more out there at risk. So it's up to uh, judgment what you guys want to do. But this is one idea. Um, this works out pretty well. So random bet rolling and betting, the choice is yours. Okay. I want to say thank you to all of you. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments. Um, I'll keep them coming if you guys like to watch them. So uh, Crafts Player, for now, is out.